Welcome to The Right Gun. Hey everybody, excited about this video. We're going to be doing some gunsmithing. Bought the Tactical Pontoon Dagger Peacemaker Tune-Up Kit. So let's start with what you get. For about 120 bucks, you get the trigger, the brake connector, trigger spring, badger snot, which is cleaning lubricant, the duty rated striker spring, and the reduced weight safety plunger spring. Those last two are optional. All right, disclaimer time. Bought this with my own money. I thought it was a good product, so I thought I'd do a video on it. So along with the trigger parts, sending me a bunch of stickers. He also sends his business card with a personalized note. Thought that was a nice touch. All right, if you know anything about the PSA dagger, you know that most people do not like the trigger. So we're going to do a couple of up close pictures of the trigger just to see the parts we're going to be changing. And then we're going to get a view of what the finished product looks like before we go into the video. All right, so spoiler alert, everything went all right. The trigger install was pretty simple. Honestly, the hardest part of this whole operation was the disassembly of the PSA dagger grip module. All right, so let's get into this video first, the shopping experience. He runs his website pretty well. It's very clean. You know exactly what you're ordering, and I really like that. So here are some screenshots. Now to the bad part of my video. Most of the video for the disassembly was corrupted, but I'm going to put some links below to three excellent resources that I used. The Nate Take and Booth Customs both had two excellent disassembly videos, and then Jetaman Designs had a great trigger replacement video. Check them out. So for the grip module disassembly, you're going to need two punches, 1 16th and a 1 8th. The 1 8th is for the trigger pin, the 1 16th for the two roll pins. I didn't punch out the roll pins all the way, but here you can see the grip module completely stripped. And here's where I'd recommend watching the Jetaman design video. Use the 1 16th punch to remove the roll pin that holds the trigger to the trigger bar. So again, you're gonna need a little hammer and you're actually going to need to punch that out. So this part was a tad bit tedious, aligning the uh, screw that you will need the 3 64th Allen wrench for and the hole to the trigger bar. It's just kind of a pain to line up, but once you get it, it falls right into place. Tighten it down. So here you can see me tightening this down with the 3 64th Allen wrench. You want it good and snug, but you don't want to over tighten it and risk damaging the parts. And here we have a couple of close-ups of what the finished product looks like. So I did shoot this bit out of order. You'll see the trigger housing assembly and the brake connector right here. I just want to show you the parts that are going to be replaced. And here's the trigger spring and where it connects to the trigger bar. Now again, connecting the trigger spring with the trigger bar to the trigger housing assembly. It's not that tough. It's just kind of a pain to get everything to fall into place. As Tactical Pontoon says in his video, he actually likes the trigger bar that PSA made. He thinks it's a good trigger bar. Just throw some badger snot on there. Uh, make sure it's lubed and cleaned. Now as we start to rebuild our grip module, you'll see the trigger and the trigger housing assembly. Just gonna drop that in. Here we will install the trigger pin, the slide stop assembly, and the locking block. Again, this part, takes a little bit of time. It's not difficult, it's just a little tedious uh, because of that spring on the slide stop assembly. It just kind of throws things out of place, so you just gotta get some guide rods and uh, put everything back together. All right, so as the locking block goes in, it. Uh, gets a little hard to line up with that spring that comes off the slide stop assembly. So again, you just need a punch or something to guide those holes together.
So as you put in the trigger pin, you'll see in other videos, people say just move around the slide stop assembly lever uh, and everything should fall into place. That has happened for me before, but this time I need a little extra nudging. So I had to get out my armor's block and just kind of force down on it with one of the punches. Fell right into place though. So again, here you can see me moving the slide stop lever and then it just punches right in. As you can see, the two roll pins, the front and rear, they're still out. All you need is the hammer and yeah, not pretty, but you just pound them back in. All right, now we get to the good stuff in my opinion, the slide disassembly. So if you've disassembled a Glock, you can disassemble a PSA dagger slide. Just remove tension from the striker spring there and you can remove the back plate. Keep your thumb over the back plate because the extractor spring and the extractor plunger could come flying out. Those are under tension. So as you can see, just continuing to move the pieces and then next you'll have the uh, striker block and the extractor. So I kind of think the combination of the striker block and the extractor, how they hold each other into place is kind of a cool concept. They both work off of each other's tension. So you push one down the striker block and you can just pull out the extractor. All right, now for the striker disassembly. So it's pretty easy. You just pull down the spring. I was using my armor's block. There are these two little plastic caps. Make sure you don't lose those. Those will separate. Once the caps are removed, the striker spring just slides right off. Again, those striker caps are very small. Do not lose them. As you can see, I had a small tray for my excess parts, uh, separating the new parts and the old parts. So for the assembly of the striker, just in reverse. Replace the spring, push the, spring, the new spring down, and replace the caps. So here you can see I put on both caps and you can see the new striker spring on the striker. All right, now we're just simply just going to remove the striker block spring and replace it with the new striker block spring. Now with the tactical pontoon dagger upgrade kit, all parts have been replaced. Now we're just gonna reassemble the slide. All right, so here we are replacing the striker block. You just push that in and then you can insert the extractor. You'll also notice in some areas at the end of this video as I'm reassembling uh, some of the more monotonous parts, I do speed up the video a little bit. So if something looks sped up, that's what you see. Just inserting the extractor plunger and the striker. And I'm just gonna recount in order here. So you have the striker block, the extractor, the extractor plunger and spring assembly, and the striker. Then you'll put on the back plate. Again, nothing fancy here. Just force everything down, snap the back plate back on. So as you know, we have the grip module fully assembled and we're going to reassemble the slide, put it in the barrel, the recoil spring assembly, and we will perform a functions check.
Okay, so as we perform this functions check, you will notice that you haven't seen any ammo near the table. I'm also opening the chamber to show that there is no magazine inserted and there is no round in the chamber. The dagger is safe and clear. Overall, I think the Peacemaker has a very nice and crisp break and a nice clean reset. You can hear it when I do the two functions checks. So I really recommend checking out these guys. Thank you for watching.